Hi everyone, welcome to Quattro Force and today we're gonna test our waterproofing of this racing quad. The, that's my first quad that I built. We waterproof all the components. You're gonna be able to see that on our later video. If this works, we'll show you how we did it. If it doesn't work, then what's the point of showing you how we did it? We're gonna put it, put it through some serious tests and we're gonna grab slowly graduate it up first a little bit of mist then we're gonna simulate some rain maybe some harder some stream of water coming at it and uh, if everything works we might try even something harsher than that i'm uh, excited i don't know what we're gonna find out but let's find out all right now we soaked it let's see what it does First test. Alright, that was good. Now we're gonna go for step two. We will uh, use the hose. Let's see how that works. Oh, part two. Step two. Water. Rain. Yes. Yeah. That was awesome. Right. Step three. On You're tricking me, you're tricking me. What we're doing is you fly in the pool. All right, and now we're gonna put it in there and see what it does. Go. gonna do another test uh, we're gonna see how deep can we go with the quad in the water and we can still receive the radio frequency uh, right now we have about uh, six inches of water which is more like five and a half so we'll try with that and we'll see what happens All right, this is the quad that we'll be testing the same one my, ra my first racing quad Everything is exposed, so we can see if there is some water damage or if start to, something starts smoking. We'll be testing the video signal, the video itself, and how far can we go under the water with these antennas and still be responsive. There we go. I'm going to make sure that it works, so we're going to plug it in. Okay, what we'll do next, we'll uh, add some more water to the bucket and we're gonna add an inch every time, inch, inch and a half, and see if we're still gonna receive the signal or how deep can we go by the signal and still be responsive. All right. Anymore. So cross our fingers. Yeah. 
Still working, still working. Perfect. All right, let's see. Still working. Right out of the water, so I'm going to now try to fly it with the goggles. underneath it and the way it works it gives us a small platform that we can land on why we did that well because the drone will not transmit radio frequency in this much water on that depth so we needed to bring it a little bit higher up there's ways to do it but we don't have the technology well we don't have me myself not going to change everything on the drone so I could do that. I just wanted a drone that can land in water and take off water. And if it's submerged in the water, I can pick it up, put it in dry, and fly it away. Okay, the drone is working. Not? Maybe? Yeah? Okay? Ready? The drone is bottom of the pool can't send any signal let's try this let's put it right next to the edge of the pool and see if we're going to be able to transmit okay the drone is right next to the edge of the pool the signal and it's working ah. 
Well, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Quattro Force. Uh, we have just proven that uh, the drone can be waterproofed, actually water resistant versus uh, this many gallons of water. Yes, we had to bring it up a little bit because the deeper it goes, we lose radio frequency. But I think this is a great success. Battery didn't fry, nothing fried, so we're good to go. All right, uh, as many of you guys have questioned how we waterproof this, or how is it waterproof? You want the water now, right? No, no, now? not yet, not yet. Um, Did you say now? No, oh. not yet. Really? <laughs> really? I thought you wanted it now.